This is Ashwini Dashgupta from Chinta.com. In this particular video, let us discuss about the next IOQM. So, perhaps you already know this. IOQM is the first level of the real mathematical Olympiads in India. Students from class 8 and above can take it. In this video, we will talk about how Chinta students have prepared for it in the past and how you can prepare for it in the future. We will talk about resources, books and other details. Let's get started. So, as I mentioned, IOQM is the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India. About 100,000 students from all over the country participate in it. And the success rate is really low. It's like 4%. Around 4,000 students are successful in the IOQM. At Chinta, we have a much better performance. I'm very glad to share with you that story. In this year, 2023, about 116 students from Chinta participated in IOQM. And 25 of them, around 20%, were successful. Now, there is a reason why we could achieve this high level of success. And I will share that secret sauce with you in this particular video. But we are also very fortunate to get really good kids, students who are motivated, who are focused on mathematics. So all credit goes to them and the entire faculty team at Chinta. So how did the Chinta students prepare? There are really three things which are extremely important in this entire journey. The first one is the five days a week problem solving classes. Now, I have talked about this quite a few times. If you are an internal student of Chinta, no matter what is going on in your life, make sure to attend the five days a week problem solving classes. Most success at Chinta comes from this. And if you consistently do it, it will become your habit. Every day with a faculty member, you sit together and do some good problems. It's like brushing your teeth. The successful students at Chinta have consistently attended the five days a week problem solving classes. That means they have done about 1000 problems in class, in a calendar year. This adds immense value to their preparation. The second thing is just like a flipped classroom experience. This is called the math circle process. This math circle process is in addition to all other classes at Chinta. So what happens here? Basically, Chinta students are added as group leaders to small groups of five or six kids. These kids are usually from rural schools. So Chinta students and rural school students, they come together every week and the group leaders, that is the Chinta students, they prepare problems, lists. They also create some problems sometimes and they discuss those problems with these rural students. This is sort of a magic that brings out the teacher inside a student. Once you start teaching what you have learned, your understanding gets enhanced and you also feel a lot more motivated to study because you know you will be immediately put your you will be immediately putting your knowledge into action. So math circle process played a very vital role in some of the success stories. And finally, we have extremely passionate faculty members who are them themselves Olympians. They're from some of the leading universities in India and abroad, like ISI, CMI, TIFR, and in universities abroad like Penn State. I am from University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. There are other places like University of Paris, Sackley, and so on. That adds a lot of value to this entire process. So, 
how can you start preparing for the next IOQM? given all the things that we have discussed so far. Well, the first thing and the most important thing, you want to be inspired. Rote learning, memorizing, these are not important. You want to be inspired as a student by great problems, by friends who are doing exciting problems, by teachers who are doing research, that is the most important ingredient in your preparation. In this age of chat GPT, extensive internet access, information is not that important anymore. Inspiration is. So, with that in mind, you have to avoid manual type books. So, if you look into Olympiad books, you can sort of categorize them into two levels. One set of books are like manuals. They have uh, all the problems and the uh, theorems and the results compiled together. And the other sort set of books have been written by the masters. They have an extra flavor to them. So it's important to choose the masters and avoid the manuals. So and. For a beginner, we suggest four books. There are more books that you can find in the link in the description. Uh, the first one is The Mathematical Circles by Foman. If you are just starting out in this process. The second one is Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics. Then we have Excursion in Mathematics by Bhaskaracharya Jyopadishtan. And there is this interesting book by T2 Andrescu called Mathematical Olympiad Treasures. These folks, four books will keep you inspired and keep you into problem-solving mode for at least one year, if not more. So choose the right books. That's the first step. The second step is to choose the right problem set. So apart from choosing conceptual books, you should, every day you should be focusing on, you should be devoting some, some time on the right set of problems. For IOQM, we suggest four problem sets, AMC 10 and 12, the American Math Competitions, the American Invitational Mathematics Examination, that is any problems, Singapore Math Olympiad problems, and Tournament of Town problems. All these problems are excellent source of non-routine thinking. You should definitely devote at least one hour time to each of these every day. Okay? All right? So, finally, there are a couple of other things. You have to choose the right peer group. So, if you are stuck in a problem, make sure you have a set of friends, a set of friends and teachers who you can look up to. So, you should ask for help all the time. If you are stuck in a problem, ask your friends, ask your teacher. Do not read solutions. No one has ever learned mathematics by reading solutions. So don't do that. And finally, don't read manual books. Read the books written by true masters. So the main focus should be to solve 3,000 problems. It's like, it's like a thumb rule. 3,000 problems in one calendar year. If you are an internal student of Tinchanda, then you are attending the five days a week problem solving sessions, which will take care of 1000 of those problems. The remaining 2000 problems should be selected from the books that we suggested and the problem sets that we suggested. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I wish you all the best. Keep on working hard and learning some great mathematics. It's a very enjoyable experience. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.